Do you have anxiety like me because you're not quite sure what mixes well with what? Well, Dawn's here to help us with that information this morning. Exactly, and I think most people, Jerry, want to do the right thing. They want to put the, the, the items in the correct bins, but sometimes it can be a bit confusing or intimidating, so we're going to make it easy for them. But now, of course, just when things you know seem like habit, yeah, you throw a new thing in here. <laughs> we change the rules. We change the rules. First of all, what do we have in the background here? What, where are we exactly? So we're at the uh, Vancouver Transfer Station down on Kent Avenue, uh, the 300 block, at the Recycling Depot. So this is a place where people can bring their recycling uh, down and drop it off, uh, in addition to the household pickup that we do. Fantastic. So we all know the blue box, but this is now something new. Yeah, we have something new that's starting. So over the first uh, few months of this year, over the next few months, we'll have these green box or gray, gray boxes coming to uh, uh, all the single family homes in the city. And that's for glass. And so that's a new product that uh, we're collecting separately. So the problem we had was that often these glass uh, containers will break when we're doing the collection. And when they break they, and they're in with the other containers, it's very difficult to separate them. So now we have a separate container, a separate box for glass. Take the lid off and put your glass bottles. Clean glass. Clean glass. Right. Rinse it and put it into the new gray box. Take the lids and put the lids in the container. Okay, that seems easy. Yes. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to lie, got a few of these floating around <laughs> the house, as I know some people do at home. Yeah, so we have, <laughs> uh, we have glass bottles and containers that are refundable. So refundable bottles, uh, continue to take those to the drop-off and get your money back for them. And if I'm too lazy to go and get my money back for them, do they, can they still go they're, into they're here? Still glass and so they can still, still go glass in here. and they yeah. can still go in there. Um, you know, so much to learn, and there are still some surprising things there, uh, Russ, that people might not realize that can go in the blue box. We've got details on that coming up. For all the um, questions that you might have, they have this. It's this wizard that you can just type in at Vancouver.ca. Type it in. Go. So where do I put my the waste uh, wizard? My waste wizard. Where do I put my my bottle of this? Type that in, and it'll tell you exactly which box or bin it goes into. So for more details, Vancouver.ca. Checking out that, uh, I got to check out that waste wizard because that gray box is a fantastic idea. And our house has been having a tough time deciding exactly what to do with those glass bottles once we weren't allowed to put them in the blue bin any longer. We're here at the Vancouver Transfer Station, the Recycling Depot, and just below that, of course, are the number of bins that people can bring their items to, including soft plastics. Jerry, tell us what goes in there. Yeah, so plastic bags, plastic film, any type of soft plastic. We don't accept it in the uh, blue boxes, but you can collect it up as small as compactable and bring it down to the transfer station and drop it off. Things like this, because many of us use these prepackaged lettuce, yes. you know, spinach or whatever, and, and to be honest, I've been throwing these in the garbage. I know a lot of people no, put them in no, the blue box. No, 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 not in the garbage. Or, or no. in the blue box, but it's also no, no, yes. no, not the blue box. Yeah, yeah, no, you collect them, keep them in a bag. They collapse, you can stack them up and, and every now and then bring them down to the transfer station and drop them off. Super, super easy. Okay, Same thing so. with styrofoam, I should say. Styrofoam yeah. as well. Same thing with styrofoam. Uh, collect it up, it's light, you can compress it, and bring it down to the transfer station And of course, well. we're talking about new rules for 2016 and again, just when you think you got the blue box all figured out. We change them. We change, change the rules. Because, you can. Yeah. <laughs> because we can. We're the city. Exactly. Uh, it's what we do. No, you used to have two bags. You used to have a blue bag for newspapers. You had a yellow bag for mixed paper. Well, now we don't have to separate those anymore. They all go together, so you can put newspapers, mixed paper, any kind of paper product in the yellow bag. Okay, and what people might be surprised about is coffee cups. Coffee cups. So now with, with the coffee cups, uh, you know, it's got a wax liner inside, and so it's not paper anymore. So the, uh, the, the cap, uh, plastic container, goes in the blue box. Uh, the cup itself, wax liner, goes in the containers and the um, the sleeve is paper it collapses and goes into the uh, yellow bag and a lot of people making their own coffee at home these k-cups with these disposable cups what yeah. do you need to know about these yeah it's a small product but it's complicated because there's lots of pieces so you've got a um, you've got a a, 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 a wrap a, a liner that's garbage uh, you've got a cup itself which is plastic that goes in the blue box uh, but the grounds that are inside can go in your uh, food waste so much to learn but it's very easy go to the waste wizard on vancouver.ca you just type in whatever coffee cup it'll tell you exactly where everything goes thank you so much you. we're gonna take a little break here on bt it's a chilly morning will this cool snap continue russell kate has those details
You know, I think Steve, our camera oper operator, said it's actually kind of sad, Jerry. It's like, ah, oh, Christmas, you got to get over. rid of the tree. I know, it's over for another year. It's too bad. <laughs> it definitely is. So once again, we're here at the Vancouver Transfer Station. We've been talking a little bit about recycling and the new rules for 2016. We should clarify, too, and point out that this is for the city of Vancouver. Is it any different for the different municipalities, as far as you know? Yeah, it's, it's similar but different. And so it is important that uh, viewers will check with their local municipality to find out the specific rules uh, for them. Okay, and uh, yeah. Christmas trees. What do we do with the Christmas trees? Well, it's time. Do something productive with it. Get it chipped up. Get it recycled, and get it back into back into the earth. So we have three options in Vancouver. Uh, you can this weekend. The Lions Club is putting on a big event, uh, four locations, so they can bring the trees down, get them chipped, bring non-perishable uh, food products down for the food bank. Uh, so that's option one. Option number two is next weekend. Uh, they can have a curbside pickup at their home. So if they get it out by 7 a.m. on Saturday next weekend, we'll be picking them up all across the city and the third option is bring it down here to the Vancouver South Transfer Station uh, all month it's free and you can drop them off here and for anyone that hasn't been here where exactly are you located yeah, we're in the 300 block of Kent Avenue okay seems like it couldn't be any easier for details on those events and of course the locations you can check out the website and don't forget too, the waste wizard is such an easy way for people to uh, really have no questions about where they put their waste absolutely yeah thank you so much again for more details go to vancouver.ca I love my City of Vancouver app. It reminds me every time I need to put things to the curb. Thanks so much, Don.